Well, hello everyone. Just to kind of help you out with today's lesson, right? We're thinking about this idea of some of our addition properties. So that's kind of what we're going to talk about in this video real quick. The main one that we are going to be looking at, properties. Sorry, just making sure I had everything. Property. <laughs> okay, so the one main thing we're going to look at with this addition property today is that idea of making 10. Right, so the addition property of being able to make 10. And that really comes in handy with understanding all the different groups that I can put together in order to get a solid 10, because then we can learn about this idea of how we're adding on 10, right? That's like the progression. When we're making 10, we really want to think about, and you could use this, right? Like, I don't think it's that horrible of an idea at all to draw a tens frame to help yourself work with it. You can make that tens frame, which I need five sections or five columns, excuse me. So I'm going to do four lines, one, two, three, four. And you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, and so there's my tens frame, right? This is that box that holds a total of ten items. So if we thought about some of the equations and things that went with that, is that maybe if I had three and I wanted to know three plus what was going to get me ten, well, what's important about being able to make 10 and use a tens frame is that I'll take what I, what I have, right? What I have is three. So I'm going to go in there and I'm going to make three. So one, two, three. And now I want to think about, well, how many more sections would I have to fill up to get all 10? How many more of these squares or sections can I fill in? I'm going to use a different color so that makes sense. And you could do your circles if you want. Right, so I'm gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So notice I had to add on seven more. And that's where we can think about this idea of making 10. So let's explore that a little more because we kind of want to know all the different ways we can make 10. So we really study these ideas. I'm gonna write them down here. And then maybe we can prove some of these theories. But these are my making 10 groups, right? If I have zero, right? This, we'll kind of think about like, this is where I start. So if I start with a zero plus what is gonna get me 10? Well, again, if we use the tens frame for that, right down the middle, and then one, two, three, four lines, and that will give me five sections. Don't worry, when we talk fractions, this will make a ton of sense. And now, I have zero items, so I'm not going to fill any in, and I got to figure out, well, then how many more do I need? Well, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So zero plus ten will give me ten. All right, let's test out the one plus nine theory, this one right here. So now again, I'm going to start with one, and we're wondering, like, what number would make ten, right? Yes, we know it's nine, it's up there, but let's prove it, let's show it. So I'm gonna use a tens frame to prove that. So again, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. And let's go back to what we're starting with. We're starting with one, so I'm gonna put in one marker, that's what I have. Now, how many more do I need? And another technique, like I said, you could use circles, but another technique I actually really like to use is, I'm gonna use circles for what I have, and then I'm gonna use X's to kind of help me think about what I need. So let's see, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So I'll need nine more. So this is really the concept of how it is that we make 10, right? how we make 10. And we just want to keep practicing this skill so that in our brains, we know all the different ways we can put those two numbers together to make 10. So I'm going to challenge you now to even think, can you come up with three different ways to make 10 for now? Or can you think about what numbers would go in there? And this is the type of stuff that you're going to see on your homework today. So I really hope this helps you out. And again, if you ever have questions, always feel free to ask, right? That's what we're here for. Thank you.